Hello friends. The 773rd day of the war between Russia and Ukraine continues. And so Russian troops came close to Chasivyar in the Bakma direction. This is reported by both Ukrainian and Russian sources. Chasivyar is a key defense center of the Ukrainian armed forces on the approaches to a large urban agglomeration in the north of the Donetsk region, Ikonstyantinivka, Drushkivka, Kramatorsk, Slovyansk. If Chasivyar falls, Russian troops will come close to these cities. Yesterday, a video appeared on the Deep State Telegram channel from soldiers of the 67th Separate Mechanized Brigade, which showed the reflection of a massive Russian assault on the eastern outskirts of the city. The Russians carried out an attack using a total of 32 pieces of equipment, of which 19 were destroyed. You can also see a lot of enemy aviation activity, where four Su-25 aircraft were operating simultaneously, the main task of which is air support. That is, the enemy carried out a combined massive assault. According to Deep State, we have repeatedly heard statements that Chasiv Yar is preparing for defense, where engineering and fortification structures are being built. Now, the Russians have come close to the city, and even managed to reach its outskirts. The issue of defense preparation remains open and is being tested in practice. Again the situation is repeated when fighters, at the cost of their lives, with their own forces and means, are forced to restrain the enemy during combat operations. And again we find ourselves in circumstances when it is too late. And no matter how many media fortresses there are, this will not save the city. One of the main the tactics of the Russians is that when they see opportunities and weak points, they concentrate forces there and form a strike fest. Accordingly, in this situation, the enemy will repeat similar maneuvers and press there with even greater intensity. And they will not stop there. And they also simply level everything to the ground using aviation and artillery, which is what has been happening to the city for a long time, writes Deep State. At the same time, it later became known that as a result of the attack, supported by 32 armored vehicles, the Russians managed to reach the eastern part of the city. They managed to enter the Canal Micro District, land troops on foot, and take up positions along Zelina Street. It also turned out that in the published video repelling the Russian attack, footage of our attacks on private buildings on the edge of the city was cut out. The Deep State Telegram channel reported this and added that denying the presence of the enemy will not make him disappear. According to today's information, the battles for Chasivyar continue. Here, unfortunately, the enemy is not driven back and continues to press. On the Russian side there were several attempts from houses on the eastern part to advance along Zelina Street, but these attacks were repelled. The main plan of the Russians now is to bring up larger forces and continue assault operations. They are trying to move additional forces into the deciduous forest and are also attacking along the railroad in a western direction. The fighting on this section of the front is very heavy. No new changes were recorded at the time the video was created. It is worth noting that at the same time, the Ukrainian armed forces officially deny the entry of Russian troops into Chasiv Yar. Although they admit that the situation there is very difficult. The situation there is very difficult, fighting continues, but there are no Russian troops there. Don't believe Russian reports, Zajubini, spokesman for the East Command, told Reuters. Near Avdiivka, the Russian army continues to advance. In the northern part of Berdichy, there was an attempt by the Russians to advance to Centralna Street through the forest belt in the northern part. The attack was repulsed with the loss of one infantry fighting vehicle from the enemy. But it must be said that there are already widespread attacks here. That is, there are attacks in the northern part and in the central part along Maru Street at the intersection from Centralna Street and, accordingly, Attempts to advance from Sadova Street both in the northern direction and further in the western direction. So far, 
we have been able to repel most of the enemy's attacks, so no changes have been recorded. From the village of Toninki, the Russians attack in a westerly direction towards Umansky and Yasnobradovka. The enemy again attacked in column, supported by up to eight armored vehicles. It was possible to repulse this attack, for the most part, but the enemy still managed to get a hold. He did not retreat to his original positions, but entrenched himself in another forest belt, which was in the gray zone. Advancement is recorded in an area up to 800 meters wide and to a depth of up to 780 meters. Also, Russian troops, according to Ukrainian telegram channels, attacked yesterday on the Vremovka ledge near Staromyrsky, trying to throw our forces off the dominant heights. The enemy's advance was recorded in an area up to 1.3 kilometers wide and to a depth of up to 800 meters. Today, after a counterattack, the Ukrainian army managed to push back the Russians in an area up to 1.5 kilometers wide and to a depth of 830 meters. Friends, preparing these daily reports has become my full-time job, and I have no other job for obvious reasons. There have been few views on the channel lately, which is why I ask for your help. If you have the opportunity to support me financially, I would be very grateful. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.